8, October 16. Sunday night, falling asleep, I feel the lightest of hands on my shoulders. It's not Laura, although the pressure is like the way she often touches me as we drift off. It must be the moon, full tonight, although what the moon would want to reassure me about I can't say. Walking this afternoon, we stopped at a silvery stump on a low bank, usually underwater. The tree must have toppled in years ago when beavers first dammed the creek. The top of the stump saw it smooth, four or five silver roots lifted free of the ground, gripping the air, one thumb still attached to the drying mud. Imagine the moon tonight on the back of that hand. He does not see the moon, Bishop writes, of the ordinary man she begins her poem with. He observes only her vast properties, feeling the queer light on his hands, neither warm nor cold. I wonder, though, he is not the strange light-drawn figure she imagines climbing tall buildings toward the small hole open in the sky and the radiance just beyond it, and yet, the rest of the city asleep or underground, he is the one still out here, the only one the silky moon can find tonight to speak to.